What's up, peoples? Welcome to another episode of True Talk. It's your boy Tweezy, man. Uh, finna get ready to kick y'all some knowledge today. So the episode today is called Pride. So we'll be talking based on pride and how pride can be so bad. Um, especially in the world that we live in and how it can bring destruction to our life. So this episode is called Pride. And y'all get ready to check it out. Go follow me on TikTok. If you ain't follow me on TikTok yet, the underscore real one underscore Tweezy. Go follow me on that. And also follow me as well, man, on all my platforms. Go subscribe. Bless that like button on Golden Shire Entertainment TV. Share and like, man. Go ahead and get y'all some of this knowledge, man. Some of this good book from the basic of stress of leaving Earth. Straight up, you know what it is, the Bible. Um, we gonna get straight to it, man. I'm just, this is how I'm feeling today. I hope y'all have a blessed one too as well. Uh, we reading in Proverbs today. We're reading in Proverbs, so the chapter in the book is called Proverbs. Proverbs is deep, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna start out with Proverbs eight and thirteen. So eight and thirteen talks about how pride can be so evil on how you actually see the world as it is today because so many of us have pride and we reflect off pride. Our pride keep us without being humble, meek, or lowness, or we just doing and just doing things out of our own understanding. So let's get on that chapter uh, right now. Uh, 813, y'all, Proverbs uh, 13 it said, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. That's one. It said, pride and ignorance in the evil way. Pride is ignorance in the evil way, right? He said, in the evil way. In the perverse, the mouth, they hate. Okay, so he said, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and ignorance, right? Y'all hear me, right? Let me get a little closer. Let me get a little closer. So it said again, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and ignorance in the evil way. Is the evil way like flat out is, is evil. And it preserves the mouth. Right? I hate. So God just telling you right there, he he hate pride. <laughs> pride, pride is pride, he hated flat out. Is evil. It's nothing good of. It's not. It's not of God. You know what I'm saying? So, let's go to the next chapter. We're gonna go uh, 16, Proverbs 16, 18. We're gonna turn in this Bible. 16, 18. Let's see what it say again. 16, 18, y'all. It said, "Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall." Then down on 19, 18 through 19, said, better to be a humble spirit with the lowly than to vie the spoils with the proud. So God just said to you right now, destruction. Pride because, because before destruction, y'all, 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 I mean, what else more do you need to get? You know what I'm saying? The basic stress before leaving earth, man. We got to have Jesus Christ. We got to have the Bible. Without the Bible, man, you can't live in order. You can't live in decency. Okay, I'm not done yet. Let's let's, let's hit some more facts so y'all can get some more understanding. We're gonna go to uh, Proverbs 29 and uh, chapter 29, 23rd verse. Let's go. I like to kick knowledge to the people, man, so y'all can understand. That's what true talk about anyway. So y'all get some motivation, spirituality, and growth. You know what I'm saying? God, they know what it is. True talk. Uh, 20, 29 and 20. Let's go. What it says. Bear with me, y'all. It said a, a man's pride. Number one key. A man's pride will bring him low. <laughs> That's what I get. That's deep. And it said, but the humble in spirit will retain honor, y'all. 
It's another, it's, it's another verse that's in Proverbs that's telling you how bad, pro, how bad pride can have you and lead you to destruction. Then they said a person that has pride hate God. So what? a person that has pride do not like correction, y'all. It want to do whatever it want to do. Okay, I'm about to read something else to y'all. This is devotion, and it it's deep. It said, our pride refused to admit wrong. Okay, right? We, we hate, I'm going to tell you, as people, we hate to be wrong. We don't like to be wrong, right? So what? That's your pride. So pride is one of the seven deadly sins. It come around. It don't want. It, it can't. It don't like to admit that when it's wrong. It don't want to apologize for nothing. So let's let's read that. Our pride refused to admit wrong, but refused to obey God. But hold on. Hear that again, y'all. But refused to obey God. It can lead to sickness. Not only physical, physically, allergy, right? But spiritual and emotional and relation nationality. So basically, he said it can lead you to sickness only being physical, spiritually, emotionally, and in your relationship. Man, you see what pride can do to a person's life. It lead them down to destruction because it don't obey the word of God. It don't obey the truth. It only believes and admits to what it feels. So when you see a person, okay, say you and a person, y'all having a conversation. Okay, everybody got their own opinion on things. But well, right is right and wrong is wrong. Yeah is yeah and nay is nay, right? So we're going to be real. So seeing you and this person, y'all having a conversation, okay, maybe it might be about a, a woman a male or whatever, or just the decision of doing something. Okay, going to the club. We're gonna be, we're gonna put it on that. Okay, your homeboy in the in the, in the end, your homeboy said, "Hey man, let's go to the club. Let's, let's drink." But you decide in your life that you don't want to drink no more. You trying to quit. You trying to avoid that. You trying to get rid out of that. You trying to better yourself. But your boy. Asked you to go to the club and drink anyway. Okay, now you tell your boy, hey man, I don't want to go to the club, man. I, or your or your girl, I don't want to go to the club because I don't want to drink because I don't want to. I don't want to do it because I'm trying to quit. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get out of that life. And they say, oh man, you whack, man, you chatty because you don't want to go to the club. You don't want to drink on that, man. You spoiling all the fun. But then you just told this man that you trying to quit from drinking alcohol, something that destroys and toxinizes the temple of God. You just told this man that you didn't want to, but he still try to force you to go. What is that called? That is pride. That is pride, man, because you already ain't eating. So then you tell him by yourself, like, man, look, you wrong for telling me to try to drink and go to the club. I'm done. I don't want to do it. But then he gets mad at you because you don't want to go. And then try to force you. That's pride, y'all. So then when you ask him, like, okay, what you telling me? Ain't that wrong what you trying to get me to do? And he'll say, no, that's just having a good time. <laughs> that's pride. Because he don't want to admit that what he's telling you is actually wrong. It's, it's, it's no purpose of that because it's defeat. So what, what I'm saying today, y'all, let's learn how to get rid of pride. Let's rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name and get right with the Heavenly Father. Throw away the pride. Okay? Throw away the pride. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back in this chapter again, y'all. Let's go back in this chapter. 29, 23. A man's pride will bring him low, but the humble in spirit will retain honor in God. <laughs> So we here to please God. Let's take the pride away. Get rid of pride. Kill that pride. Pride can make you lose your life. Not only lead you to sickness, but lead you sickness physically, emotionally, spiritually, and relationship energy. All the way, it, it, it'll damage all them things. 
So we have to pray that God give us the wisdom, right? And the clarity to not to fall at all through pride, but pray for everything and pray on the decisions that we make in life so we can be led to a better way of living so we can honor our Father, not to honor man. So I'll leave y'all with this on True Talk. It's your boy Tweezy. This is True Talk, episode pride. Y'all gonna get in y'all books. Check them out. All the way through Proverbs, man, from Proverbs 8, 13, 16, 18, 29, 23. This was True Talk. Go subscribe to the page. Go to Child Entertainment. Follow me on TikTok, the underscore real one, Tweezy. And follow me on my Instagram page as well. Entertainment Golden Child. Check that out. And follow me on Twitter as well. Golden Child ENT1. This was your boy. And bless that like button. Share and subscribe my page. Peace.